This lesson will focus on adding and subtracting search from National 5. To add or subtract a search, we need to have common search. Think of it like fractions or an algebraic term. We are familiar with how to add these. We use the same rules with search. Example 1. Simplify part A, 4 root 2, add 5 root 2. Part B, 10 root 11, subtract 3 root 11. In our first example here, we're trying to simplify down search. Now we treat this very similar to the way we would do algebraic expressions. Don't make it any harder. If we look at example A, we have 4 root 2, add 5 root 2. So if you just imagine you've got 4 root 2s in one hand, then you've got 5 root 2s in another hand. If we join them together, we simply have 9 root 2s. In example B, we have 10 root 11s. I subtract 3 root 11s away from you. So you've got 10, I take away 3, you're left with 7 root 11s. Example 2. Simplify 2 root 3, add root 27, add 4 root 3. In this example here, it's very similar to what you'll see in an exam. You're looking to both simplify a third down and then simplify the full entire calculation. The good thing with these questions is that you kind of get a step for a hint. So, we have 2 root 3, add root 27, add 4 root 3. I am going to have to simplify the root 27 down first of all before I can add these all together. Now the clue is this here, the root 3. That means that when we simplify the root 27 down, we're aiming to do it as something multiplied by root 3. So we have 2 root 3, add, and we're looking to simplify root 27 down, so let's just put our square root symbols here like we normally do, and then we're going to add on 4 root 3. So to simplify 20, root 27 down, excuse me, we would look for two numbers that multiply together to give me 27. One of them must be square, but to make it a little bit easier, let's just think, is there anything multiplied by 3? Well, yes, we know that 9 multiplied by 3 is, so we have our root 9 multiplied by root 3. As a double check, we also know that 9 is a square number, so this is all working out. 2 root 3, add the square root of 9 is 3, multiplied by root 3, I'm just going to jump straight away to writing it like that. So that's 3 root 3, then I'm going to now add on this 4 root 3. So, 2 root 3, add 3 root 3, that gives me 5 root 3, then you will add on 4 root 3. So. 5 root 3 add 4 root 3, the final answer is 9 root 3. Example 3. Simplify 7 root 2, subtract root 32, add 3 root 2. In example 2, again we're looking to simplify this full calculation down. Clue is in the question. These root 2s are going to help us out, folks. So, we have 7 root 2, subtract. We're looking to simplify this down, so let's just put our root symbols. And then I'll just keep my add 3 root 2 here. Okay, two numbers are multiplied together to give me 32. One of them has to be square, and it has to have a root 2 involved. So let's just put that root 2 here. So what number can I multiply by 2 to give me 32? Well, it is 16. Is 16 a square number? Yes, it is. Perfect. So we have 7 root 2, subtract 4 root 2. The square root of 16 is 4. And then I'm going to add on 3 root 2. From there, let's simplify down. 
7 root 2 subtract 4 root 2. Well, that leaves me with 3 root 2s. Then I'm going to give you another 3 root 2s. So the final answer is 6 root 2.